Whoa! Metro Vancouver and Fraser Valley area tonight expected up to 35 centimeters of heavy snow. Prepare for quickly changing and deteriorating travel conditions. I mean, I literally couldn't write a better way to start an adventure. This is basically us. Yeah, difficult, especially ones that are difficult to travel. <laughs> Been a while since we had Sean on the channel. I, I took a bit of a break from off-roading while we're building the Demonator. This is the final iteration of the Trail Destroyer. I use that term, term very, very lightly. Yeah. The end and swap, the V8 426 in here. Look at that, guys. 600 horsepower, one ton axles, 40 inch tires. It is currently three degrees below zero, and they are saying we could get 30 plus centimeters of snow later in the day and overnight. And uh, we're heading out into the mountains. You think this pass could be a problem tomorrow with a beater of snow? Yeah, it's well, uh, not a meter of not, not a meter 30 centimeters a meter imagine a meter going like over a pretty high mountain pass that starts snowing at literally any minute and it's it, cold it's cold it, I've got my heated vest on you gotta <laughs> <laughs> the dirty and dangerous hoodies are not heated there you go all right so this could be the last trip out with the eco diesel guys I'm gonna be trying out the shift pod that we uh, reviewed back in the fall and it fits really nice in the back of the eco diesel look at that right across the back on my cargo bags or boxes here my wolf packs and I really want to see what it's like to do some ground tent camping but it's been really cold here for days now uh, last year we came up here all of this was like this no snow but when we hit the pass that we have to go over on the way to the lake um, last year there was a ton of snow on it got a little bit of snow on the hillside here whoa I almost spun out there dude dude I almost did a 180 <laughs> crazy drift uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. I didn't see any that of that. completely unexpected. So this is not water, this dark stuff on the trail. This is, this is ice. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, we'll get to camp, we'll set up, show you guys this new setup. But I think the fun of the video is gonna be in the morning when we get up with all the snow and, and the adventure we may have. Uh, this isn't the way we came. Oh, I think I need four wheel drive. <laughs> Two wheel drive was unsuccessful. Going through there. So did they repair this? Cause this was washed out last year when we came through here. Yeah, we had to drive in the ditch, but it's all fixed up now. So there was a huge landslide right here and all of this was all undercut. I'll put a clip up from last year when we came through here, but they repaired this this road it was you had to stay way to the left because the road was undercut and uh it's a real dangerous spot to go across if you're uh too close to the edge uh, this looks a little slick coming down here everything is frozen and still some snow from whenever it snowed last be real careful coming down these steep declines when it's icy and snowy like that. Do a little reverse and let's check out this creek that uh, I neglected to see as we crossed over it. Uh, but Sean mentioned that it was partially frozen. I wanna have a quick look at it. So, oh, don't wanna hit this log or the sign or drive into the creek or anything crazy like that. Look at that. Ooh, it's like some blue water in there. That's pretty. Look at that. Look at that blue water, guys. That doesn't get any cooler than that. Oh, look at Sean just bouncing around up there. <laughs> Putting that big V8 to work. What, <laughs> Rodney? Yeah, I'm almost where I think I need to travel on top of them here. <laughs> oh, up here. These ruts are deep. But you know, the advantage of the ruts, so you can just drive with no hands. 
Look at that, autopilot, who needs a Tesla? All right, I'm gonna take control before I accidentally break something in my steering. This is frozen solid, but traction's good. Uh, I'm on just two wheel drive, rear wheel drive right now. No problem with traction. All right, here is where we start to gain our elevation up past 500 meters. This is the pass tomorrow that is gonna probably give us the most trouble getting up and over coming out from our winter lake. Last year when we came up here, we were crawling, just crawling our way up here. It was so snowy and we were just fighting to try to plow and stay on top. <laughs> yeah, I was just talking about last year coming up here. Totally different trail coming up here. This is gonna be a big adventure tomorrow as the snow comes in later today. See how the shift pod holds up in some snow. Be the first time, uh, well, first time using it and if we're gonna get some snow accumulation overnight, I'll be curious to see how that does with it. Uh, accumulating on the roof. We're kind of at the top of the pass here now. This is 518, 19, 20 meters. Just over 500 meters up here. And then we'll descend. Hopefully this isn't too slippery coming down. Show you guys some of this beautiful scenery we have around here. Look at this. Boom. Just more awesome frozen waterfalls over here. Look at how cool that is. Love seeing the frozen waterfalls. Beautiful. This is the washout. Wow. So this is the washout that we came through last year. Looks like they've rebuilt the whole thing, put a new bridge in. But look at this. The creek is... Uh, uh, they dug it out now, but I used to be able to drive up this part that washed out. The creek is completely frozen. Look at that. The water's flowing underneath it. That's super cool. Just love seeing the, the frozen water. Some of the best part of wheeling in the winter. I'm trying to find a spot down to the river. There's a beautiful, beautiful river that flows into this lake that we're gonna head to. We're almost there, but let's stop on this bridge and let's have a look. It is super low. It has been such a dry winter, guys, that, um, oh, this is really pretty though. But it's such a dry winter that, look, the, uh, the river is barely, barely flowing. And it's not frozen. It's flowing enough that it hasn't frozen up. How pretty is this spot? Get some shots for Instagram. Looks like the water got super high. Yeah, but it's super low now. Yeah. You think you can do a burnout on this bridge? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good shot too. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Continue on. The last year when we came through here, there was so much uh, deadfall that had been pushed up from the lake and the windstorms and the flooding all winter that it was a real uh, challenge getting through this last section as we break out onto the beach. I ended up having to winch because I got my differential high center on a big log that I couldn't see under all the snow. Oh, look at this. Every, all the waterfalls are frozen on the other side. The waterfall that we normally film across from our campsite looks like it's completely frozen. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Sean's just gonna send the drone up, but look at this. I thought we'd come out here for a second and have a quick look as we work our way across. Look at this. How great is this spot to go camping? Make sure you check me out over on Instagram if you wanna see a lot of my just short forum content. I try to post some of the stuff on shorts here on YouTube, but I post a lot on Instagram as well. And it's usually more in time with my adventures that I'm out on on Instagram, Casey250 and Sean, the story till now. This is one thing I'm gonna miss with the Wrangler is this awesome trail gator table that we have. which uh, makes, oh, probably need to clean this, it's been a while. It's a great spot to make lunch. 
Perfect. Oh, a spider. He's probably having a hard time out here in the cold. Bye, spider. Can't have too much cheese on a sandwich, guys. Save a little bit for tomorrow. So we may need a lunch on the way out of here if we end up getting hung up coming out of coming out of that pass with all the snow. This stuff is super dry. Oh, all right. Just scavenging up a bit of wood for our forest fire. <laughs> for our campfire. Well, we got no shortage of big sticks here tonight. Okay, let's get the shift pod set up. So I brought a ground tarp for it so that we don't get it completely dirty. And I think we'll put it right in front of us. I don't have to worry too much about rocks because I do have a cot to sleep on. See how long this takes to set up. If you want to watch a full walk around and review of this, I do have one on my channel. We basically just pull out these, these handles from each corner like this. And we just need to pop up the, the center here. that and there we go all right I'm ready for our moon landing there's, <laughs> there's our space tent and then we have the fly that goes over top which I'm gonna put on because it's supposed to snow tonight and I want to keep some of my windows open All right, so, because it might get cold tonight, but also I want to be able to run my USB sleeping bag and all that fun stuff. I've got the EcoFlow Delta II with expansion battery, 2,000 watt hours. And I'm just going to run this into the tent so that I've got some power once I get this thing. This is the worst extension cord ever, and it's super not waterproof. It's not meant for outdoors, but it's got USB ports and electricity. And we've got this nice little pass through right here. So I brought my Thermorest Mondo King to sleep on, but I've also got this base, basic cot that we're gonna get off the ground with. But I can easily just kind of throw everything in here and then jump in and set everything up. I think setting up the shift pod itself is nice and straightforward and easy, but if it's gonna rain or snow, you have to put that fly on because you can't open any of the windows without it and it covers some of the additional seams around the top. So dry camping, it sets up really nice, quick and easy. Throw your tarp out, pull the four sides out, pop the roof and you're done. But it takes as long to put the, the fly on it seems as it does uh, setting up the rest of the tent. But anyways, I had everything set up including my bed, my air mattress, uh, getting all the power in here in about 30 minutes. So that's definitely a little bit longer than it would take with a rooftop tent. But, uh, you know, I've got a nice bed. It just barely fits in here. I am six foot two, so I need a longer bed. I'm gonna try sleeping on that off the ground. And uh, I've got some heaters in here in case it gets really cold or at least heat the tent up in the morning so I don't have to get up in the cold. I've got my gear bag and power off the EcoFlow Delta II behind us. Okay, Sean has built us an amazing, super hot fire. You can feel it all the way over here. We've got our nice wood pile for the evening. We're gonna have a real chill winter camping evening. Nice fire, nobody out here. Quick weather update for you guys. Look at 
That looks like snow coming in, in the distance there, over the mountains, headed this way towards us. It's like 3.30 right now. It's getting a little bit colder, it's starting to get dark. And just to give you some perspective, that's where the snow is coming from, heading this way towards us. You know, I'll update you guys if we see any weather changes. Otherwise, stay tuned for the morning. Here comes the storm. We can feel it. We've been watching it come across the lake. And here comes, you feel the snow now. So we've been just tracking this squall coming down the lake towards us. We could see the snow at the far end and it's finally arrived. It all of a sudden just got really cold and windy. We had to get out all our gear. And I had to uh, make sure the pegs were tight with the uh, tent and whatnot. Make sure it's not gonna flap in the wind or anything. So I think this is gonna be the start to the snow that we've been uh, waiting for. A little weather update here shortly, hang on. But we sure have a uh, nice, nice fire going. All right, weather update guys. It is now six, just after 6 p.m. It's quite dark, much darker than the camera makes it look. But uh, you can see the snow starting to pile up, guys. We're just hanging out by the fire. Can't even see across the lake now, although it's very, very dark. Uh, when, I don't know, the camera's boosting it up, but you can see the snow coming down and the ground's mostly covered now. And the snow is starting to build up on the space pod and all over the tarp. Some of my fingers wiping it off, but yeah. See how it looks in the morning. <laughs> That's a lot of snow out there. <laughs> Look at Sean's truck. Sitting here, and all of a sudden the roof collapsed. I'm gonna push it back up. I think I just knocked all the snow off the roof. That was a interesting timing with waking up. 7 a.m. When I get out of here before the snow accumulates too much more in about four or five hours, this might be really hard to get out of here. This is gonna be a problem getting my my tarp out of the off the ground, but look at the Jeep is there's uh it's halfway up the tires. But packing up is gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt. So let's get started. Oh boy. All right, guys, we got out of the tent. <laughs> so Sean and I are just getting started at 7.30. We're, uh, I gotta pack up this tent. That's gonna be something else. Getting that tarp up. But look at how much snow is on the Jeep. Oh boy. Oh, look at it, right up the side. I can't even see the Jeep. We gotta dig ourselves out of this. Well, I think the first challenge is unpack or packing up. Packing up this thing, that's half buried. The roof, all the snow is on the sides here, guys, because the roof, just as I was getting out, maybe because I had the heater on and it started to melt, but it, the roof popped down. I pushed it back up and all the snow fell to the side. So I'll get the GoPro out of this mess. Okay. Need some gloves. Feels a little warmer though today. It's just a little snow here. Okay, first step is gonna be unpacking, unloading the space pod. That's how much snow is out here, holy crap. Which is gonna mean we gotta open up the tent, the Jeep. So we're gonna fire everything in there. I'll grab our Ooh, that's tarp is slippery. Three bags for sleeping gear. It does get covered in snow from just having the door open and unpacking it. Open this up. I can drag this through from the other side. And then we need to that down. 
later. Close this up before this gets completely filled with snow. Keep that. Good to get our power cord out. I guess the next step is going to be to pull all our stakes up. Which are probably frozen in the ground now. Came out easier. It's a lot of snow, dude. Now we gotta get the canopy folded. We'll deal with all this being snowy and wet when we get home. It's like fro frozen. Probably not the ideal way to hold this up but you know this is what we got right now I'm not sure how that's gonna fit in there given my limited ability to <laughs> put this frosty canopy away I think we're just going to chuck this in the Jeep and let it thaw out for later. How about that? So that leaves our tent, which should be able to just pop all our sides in and drop down into that bag. But this may have the same fate as the canopy by just stuffing it in the back of the Jeep. So much air in it that it's popping the sides back out. There's a lot of condensation inside it as well from uh, just me breathing. But as well, the other thing was when the snow started accumulating on the roof, the canopy, the fly, pushed right against all of the windows. So the window I had open wasn't able to uh, let any fresh air in after a while. And I had no idea because I was, I was sleeping. For some reason, this tent is longer than the bag today. I don't know why. Yep, that's how it's going in. goodness <laughs> too much snow in the tailgate to close it okay try this again let's get in here trying to get our seat all wet No problem. Got all the eco diesel. Fires right up in the snow. This is where we try to get some of this snow off the windshield so we can see. Get our wipers working. 
I never thought to bring a snow brush with me. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Hello headlights. Hello girl. Hello headlights. We call this the angry snow girl. <laughs> what do you think? Angry snow girl with cool haircut. Here we are, Jeep, heated seats, lights, phone, phone has snow on it. I am here. I am also here. Just trying to clean some water off my glasses. Those with the biggest tires lead. I read that in a fortune cookie. Our biggest challenge is seriously just going to be finding our way off this river bay. <laughs> We're in here. It's warm. We're out of the tent. Flash up our maps. Crank up my foot. I don't think we've got enough heat in the engine yet. Yeah, it's kind of a little bit of drive-by feel this morning because you can't see nothing as far as the terrain goes, but I can see a little bit of a ridge right here that we just came down because we were sitting on a ridge. I'm going to back up and go where I was because I know the route that I can get out of there towards Sean before I end up on a log sitting on the beach. The snow is super deceptive as far as depth. Seems pretty sticky though. Forties <laughs> just cruising over everything. Sean's got the Toyo MTs, I got the Nitto Trail Grapplers. We have had great success in the snow with these and they're fairly fresh tires. Mine uh, don't have too many kilometers, 5,000 K on them, so they're really... Is this the way down, like, to our left here, or was it further in front of me? I can't remember. Hmm, I th think we can go to our left here if you back up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And go on the right-hand side of this tree and between that bush, and then cut right. Sean is also flying his drone right now. Make sure you go check out the story till now for awesome drone footage of today's event. Dude, this mess is so deceptive, I can't tell what's in front of me. Just inch slowly forward. Definitely a hole there. Okay, this way is good, and then to my right, can you keep going forward? We don't have any tracks to, whoa, <laughs> any tracks to follow our way out of here. Because obviously there was no snow in the morning or uh, yesterday when we arrived. All right, we found our exit. Excellent. Yeah, it was pretty clear coming through here yesterday. So I'm not worried about any fallen trees unless something fell overnight. pretty crazy to be out here in this in this much snow Sean using some trees to knock some snow off his truck I will do the same no this is totally blocked 
I think we got to go back. Oh, crazy. There. It's duck in the forest, guys. This is a lot of snow, no fresh tracks. Find our way out of here. Oh. Just drove into a tree. The Jeep stopped turning. I don't know, man. My GPS is taking me away from all the trail exits. I'm just looking at the drone. Well, uh, maze adventure to start the day, but we're trying to get to where, well, we've come in three different ways, but where these collect up is the exit. Bump something we shouldn't. Hard to see the stumps and logs in here. Jeez, I can't see my window. Hang on, man. All my snow landed on my window, and my windshield wipers won't work. Fine. Jeez, snow is heavy and wet. Trying not to get soaking wet here. There we go. Clear some of that off. Oh. <laughs> Slippery. Whew. This one. Yeah, this is it. I recognize these trees. Well, the good side is that uh, the snow has got pretty good traction. It's not super slippery. This will be really messy in another day when it freezes overnight, but since it's all fresh and hasn't frozen yet, and it's only 8.30 in the morning, we're getting out of here. I don't foresee us having much issues with traction on some of these steep climbs coming out of here but but we do have to do that mountain pass which is another 200 plus meters above us but at least it doesn't have any uh cliff sides to fall off <laughs> beautiful little splash of winter though this morning oh, it's so nice out here all the trees and snow some good snow wheeling yeah, and it's not frozen yet, so it's still got good traction. Yeah, it's super easy. Sean just uh, thrown down a tripod. He's got the signature orange snow pants on. Woo! <laughs> You'll see this shot in his video over on the story till now. Check it out. I will wave to the camera as we go by. Try not to hit it. There it is there on our side. You can see it over the snow pile on our hood. Not even hard to walk in. We, we didn't even need to call Matt's off-road recovery. Yeah, well, it would have been a long way from Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bridge that we came across yesterday. Remember we were standing on it? Wasn't any snow. Whoa! <laughs> oh, 
little too much speed there. Come on, snow. <laughs> I didn't want to hit your truck. <laughs> Dude, let's shred. Let's shred it. Look at Sean go. Plowing. <laughs> Sean's getting the drone up. Get some wicked shots. There it goes. See it? Right there. And Sean's just plowing loose powder over his hood, so it's just coming over. It's gonna look really awesome on the drone. The snow is perfect for this. Look at the truck. <laughs> I can't wait to get the Demonator out here. This would have been a lot of fun ripping on the Demonator in the snow. But we'll have plenty of opportunities, I'm sure. Make sure you guys are subscribed because the next adventure Got one planned in a couple weeks. It'll be the, the shakedown run for the big drive to Moab and Easter Jeep Safari. So if you guys are going to Easter Jeep Safari, keep an eye out on my Instagram where I will uh, be posting more real-time updates, things going on. And uh, I'm hoping to have a meetup while I'm hanging out with Metal Cloak and their CTI trailer one day. So do follow me over on Instagram at Casey250. And if you want to come hang out with our Patreon community, I'll put a link here at the bottom of the screen, Patreon slash, or patreon.com slash case 250. I've always, uh, there's always interesting conversations going on behind the scenes stuff. I do post the occasional location. And as well, if I'm doing a run and I have some room for extra rigs, I will post it on my Patreon if you want to come along on some of these adventures. And so go check it out there. And, come hang out. Let me know what you guys think of the POV off-roading experience. For me, it lets me film a whole lot more while we go. Um, you know, it isn't as fancy with the outside drone shots and setting up cameras, but lets me talk to you guys more while we're out wheeling and just bring you into more of the experience. And I enjoy shooting with the POV camera. I hope you guys get a good feel for the adventure. Here we are at the start of the climb, the base of the mountain pass. And I think this will give us our first experience with climbing a bit of an incline in the snow. I'm currently in four high still. Traction is pretty good so far. See Sean's diff dragging through the middle here. That's how deep the snow is. Just gotta plow our way up here. Look at Sean's truck. Holy smokes. Yeah, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. We got this. Ah, traction was pretty good there. This is a perfect day to be out here. Now there should be no avalanche issues around this area. There was no snow on really any of the peaks around us. So we're not concerned with avalanches or anything like that. Just keeping the speed going. Traction is decent. Make our way up the steepest part of this to the top. Look at that snow. <laughs> Look at Sean's snow. Yeah, it looks super cool from back here. The Toyos and the Nittos are uh, really taking this on today. Hey, Tom. This is the best kind of snow wheeling. It's just like powder that you can shred. Yeah, one more day though, and this is all frozen. Yep. Awesome powder, but we still got lots more trail to go. Still have the hairpin section uh, once we get off of this road. And the hairpin actually has more of a ledge than any of this. This, there's no real drop. Only a few sections like right here where we're pretty far from the edge, so there's no big drop off the side. So here's our summit right here at 515 meters. Yeah, we're looking good. This is a lucky day to be out. Just took driving out in the middle of nowhere and enduring a snowstorm overnight to be able to wheel in this awesome type of condition. Go get a thumbnail, <laughs> look at this snow. <laughs> awesome. Dude, this is crazy. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna get a photo. <laughs> it's a good photo.
if I don't fall into a ditch here. <laughs> Little vlog bit. The sky's clearing up in front of us. Whew. Wow. Up to my knees. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. But my feet are getting a little cold in the snow. Wow, look at the Jeep. It's just completely covered. <laughs> Take the lead, plow some of this pow right across this bridge. Woo! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at the snow coming off the sides. Look at this, guys. <laughs> a big switch back. We gotta go up here. Up we go. Whoa, <laughs> drifting. Snow everywhere. Can't see where we're going. Traction control killing me here. No traction control. <laughs> so much snow hitting my window, it's fogging it up. <laughs> I can't see nothing through some of that. <laughs> yeah, that looks so cool. Like a big cloud of snow in front of me. Traction control keeps telling me I don't have traction, but exactly. That's why we turned it off. What a morning, man. The sun comes out after a fresh snow. It's a powder day. It's like being the first one up the ski lift when you go snowboarding and getting that first track down the hill after fresh snow. That's exactly what it's like. <laughs> Hope you guys can see the snow just firing up the sides here. Oh, look at this view. This view of the lake. Crazy. Look at this out the window, guys. Beautiful snow, and looks like on the other side of the lake. Sean crawling behind us. All right, crossing this big bridge here. Yeah, down there. That's where the washout was last year that we came through on the way in. Don't wanna hang out here too long. A lot of rocks fall off that ledge there. <laughs> it's just firing up the sides. Big pillowy puffs. Chucking up the sides. I don't even have that much tire poke. We kind of surprised there's no one up here. But yeah, it's 10 o'clock, no tracks. 10 o'clock on a Sunday. Sunday, fun day, man. Where's the wheelers? Here's the wheelers here. Good out there. Whoa. <laughs> the wheeling's great. The snow's powder. So we got we got the fresh tracks though. Sorry. Have a good wheel, guys. Uh, we've lost our fresh tracks. Well, we stole the morning on that track. Yeah, good with us when we did. Oh, all right. Somewhere we have some valve stems. There's one. We'll air this up and be on our way. We'll go check out that cool diner. 
and grab some bacon and eggs and get going. All right, we're gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Uh, as I mentioned, if you wanna see some of those awesome drone shots, check out Sean from the story till now. Hit subscribe, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and let me know what you think of the POV video. I'll see you guys next week.